I just wanna hit my little dance without a bed saying they doing it right. Bitch, I will pull up my pants and get in my stance. Tell me, do you wanna fight? Bitch, I'm going up, you ride my way. I ain't the win and you was a guy. I just wanna hit my little dance without a bed saying they doing it right. If I wanna wear a Nike shirt, we'll read my shoes. Hey, what's going on? It's your girl, Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the Industry's Most Wanted Podcast. Your industry's Most Wanted. Big KC, Big KC, what's going on? What's good, what's good? I appreciate you being here. You came in here with some love and energy and all that. Give me some love. Boom. I appreciate you. I just want to first and foremost just give you your flowers real quick, like, I've really paid attention as of lately what you got going on. Definitely have become a fan of your music. Um, just a fan of you, period. You're just a dope person all the way around. <laughs> Introduce you. yourself. A big KC official straight out of Laurel, Florida. Y'all know what it is, man. Hey, straight like that. Hey, I love when I got Florida in the building. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love Atlanta. I've been here since 2013. You got to learn how to say it right. It's not Atlanta. It's Le- Atlanta. Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. 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 <laughs> I'm in okay. Atlanta now. But but Florida is always going to have my heart because I grew up there. You know what I'm saying? So um, what's it like in your city? Let's just jump that off real quick. What's it like out in your city right now musically? It's all right. Like Sarasota, we got like a lot of up and coming artists like but it's like no unity so yeah absolutely so, why is, why do you think that is like a lot of people like in my city they be hating like so for real it's, it's like they want you to win but when they see you rising above them ain't no more love i'm gonna talk to y'all artists real quick artists y'all gotta stop doing that it's okay to support other artists it's okay because there's enough out here for all of us a lot of artists don't want to support because they slick don't want to see you come up and do better than them like you just said. And that's just that on that. That's big facts. Artists, y'all got to stop doing that. Money comes in numbers. When you work collectively together, y'all might be able to get to where you want to go a lot quicker. Right. Man. I believe that. <laughs> so um, what about like, is there is there, you know, events and stuff like that that goes on out there for independent artists? Uh, yeah, it's... um. What is it? I think it's Bay Studios. Okay. So the studios they do like a um like a concert for all the yeah all the artists. So, but do you out of mostly like go to places like Tampa and stuff like that to hit yeah. more events and stuff I like most, that? I mostly perform in Tampa. I got you. What's that experience like for you? Are they showing you love? Yeah, yeah definitely, <laughs> definitely Tampa. Yeah. Are you familiar with H? Nope. Oh, okay. You got there's a dude out there. He goes by H, and it's spelled A Y C H. That's who I met when I first got in this music business. He's been doing showcases for like, I want to say probably 15 years. He's got a solid, you know, just team of people and does good events. He does them usually in uh, Ybor City. So I'm going to make sure you know who he is. Yeah, plug me. Because he's a good dude, man. Like I was doing events with him. Actually, I helped him bring his events here to Atlanta when I first moved here. So, yeah, definitely connect with my dog, H. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you make that connection. Um, take us back, though. Before you started doing music, um, was there something else that you ever aspired to do before music? Uh, no, I always did music. Yeah. Like... like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did want to be a preacher at one point, and then okay, it just changed. That that wasn't really me. It was like I was going after somebody. Pastor KC. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So, uh, music started to become a passion for you at a young age, then, because yeah, I know you're you know, young now. Fine. You know what I'm saying? So, like, are we talking as a young and as a jit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we from Florida. That's how we talk. Yeah. Um. All right, so let's just pay homage real quick because I love music from everywhere, but of course, Florida really has my heart. I'm from there. Um, I'm definitely your elder. So, you know, like I fell in love with, you know, music at a very young age as well. A lot of Florida music, a lot of Florida artists. Pay homage real quick. Who's a couple of Florida artists that you really like, you know, maybe are inspired by or you rock with? Uh, 802 Versace. Okay. Boston Richie. Okay. Uh, who else? Florida, uh, shoot, Kodak. Yeah. Uh, Soda Black. Yep. Uh, 
There's a lot of them, right? That is, yeah, everybody really just, everybody <laughs> representing that, paving yeah. the way. Yeah, that's really dope. You know, we got. I like it. I think it's important we always got to pay homage to where we from. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, you being an artist and me being involved in the music business. Um, about what age would you say that you really started taking music, like, just real seriously as a business? Shoot. This year. I said this year. Okay. So I'm 39, so. No, you not. Stop. <laughs> Hold on. Stop lying. She lying, right? I'm 30. No. I just turned 30, August. Really? Yep. You look like you about 21. I ain't going to lie. Thank you. thank you. For real. Wow. You look good. Okay. So just this year, what made you decide to, to switch into doing it, you know, more full time? Well, I knew like music, it could be ran as like a business. Yeah. I wanted to. Uh, take it serious as a business. Yeah, you know I do it for the culture too, but I know it's a business, and I know it could change some things. Absolutely. So let me ask you this: you know, being in this business, I know you haven't been in there in the business too long. Like, what was the toughest part about breaking into this music business? Mm, I'm not sure. I think just being a female artist. Yeah, that's not like on no like. Show, showing your butt and, and Tight, twerking yeah. and out it. Yeah. Listen, give me some love on that. I'm with you because I never, no disrespect to the ladies out there, I never want to have to do that to get people's attention. I want them to love me no matter if I'm wearing a nun's outfit, which I'll never do. <laughs> right. you, but you get what I'm saying. Yes. I just love that you're unapologetically yourself. I think that's what really yeah. just attracted me to you because I'm just like, I'm that way. Like, I don't. I don't be with the old fancy Fugazi stuff. Like yeah. I'm just giving them me and I love that about you. Yeah. So breaking into this business, being a female, it is tough because a lot of people don't take us seriously. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, how did you overcome that? I kept going. <laughs> like every time I play somebody in my song, they love it. Yeah. I probably had about two haters out of <laughs> thousands. You know what I'm saying? So that just keeps me going. Yeah, most definitely. Um, is your family on board? Are they supporting the movement? Yeah, they support it. That's dope. Yeah. That's really dope. It's always <laughs> good when you have the people around you that support what you got going on because sometimes they right. don't, and it's not necessarily that they don't want to support you. They just don't understand. They right. don't see your vision the way you see it. Right, because they ain't never been where I'm trying to go. Exactly. Right. Period. Like, I remember having to, like, explain to my family and friends exactly what I do and how I make money doing it. Because they, mm -hmm. they don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not that they didn't support. They just didn't understand. Um, what was the very first song that you released out there on the digital platforms? Uh, I could say the N word over here. Yeah, you could say it. <laughs> it's called My Nigga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. My bad. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you good. Uh <laughs> Talk to us about that record. That was the first song that you, did you record other music before that one? And that was the one that you chose to put out? Or was that the very first song you actually ever recorded? Well, I first, like, I used to be a singer. Okay. I, Don't I tell me that because I'm going to make you sing to me. <laughs> I might sing a little bit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up going to prison. Okay. And then when I got out of prison, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be a rapper. Yeah. So I got out recorded the song, my nigga. And it was up from there. So that was the first song that you really, like, you recorded and put out there. Okay, mm -hmm. let's backtrack just a little bit. You had to sit down for a little minute. A yeah. little minor setback for a major comeback, right? Right. I always like to key in on stuff like that because I'm the type of person that I try to, not I try, let me take that, at, I, I always find the positive in every situation, right? Mm -hmm. Having to sit down for a little minute, for whatever reason, you ain't even got to get in detail why, but... How did that help you in a positive light? It made me, like, start to think twice. Yeah. Like, before I do anything, before I react, I think. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I feel like we we family. <laughs> for sure. No, nah, for real, because that's one thing that I, I always preach to people. Maybe I need to be a pastor, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're going to let me in. Um, you got to learn to be proactive rather than reactive. Mm. You know what I'm, I'm like, saying? Yeah, you preach it, man. If you stop for just a second and think about what you're about to do, how it could potentially change your life and everybody else, man, the outcome could be so much better. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. as we get older, we not everything deserves a reaction. If at this point in my life, if someone comes up and tries me and pushes me or whatever, I'm going to turn around and walk the other way. Not that I'm a sucker. Right. I just don't know. They might have a weapon and shoot and kill me. Mm -hmm. Not everything deserves a reaction. Right. 
having to sit down, I think also too teaches you, okay, before I do whatever it is again, I'm not going to do that again because I like my freedom too much. Right. I miss having the fridge. (laughs) I mean, chicken wings. I know, you know that's saying, right. That. You're like, shoot, I ain't never going back. <laughs> never. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. No, I think that's really dope. So let's talk a, b- a little bit about, you know, transitioning out. Mm-hmm. Where was you incarcerated at? Uh, in Michigan. It's oh, in Michigan? Michigan? Yes. Okay. So that's like a whole new world. You from Florida and you locked up yes. in Michigan. How long were you incarcerated? Uh, three and a half years. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. So... Those are three and a half years you can't get back. But it's okay because fortunately you're still young, right? Yes. Yes. Transitioning out of being incarcerated to back to you got your freedom back, what was that like for you? I wanted to go back so many times because that's all I was used to. Yeah. Doing the same thing every day. Yeah. But I made it though. I know that's right. That's what God is good. Yeah. That's a blessing right there all the time. And when you got a good support system around you, they don't want to see you there because they know you're better than that. Right. We all go through trials and tribulations. We can't question it. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my mind, God sat you down for a reason. He's like, oh, uh, she on the wrong path. Let me let me set her butt down for a minute. <laughs> right. I believe that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And look, look at you now. You're completely on the right path. You're doing the right thing. You're putting good music out. You're touching people. You know what I'm saying? Through your music. Um, so the very first song that you put out, what was it like? Like, how did how did people react to it? Oh, it, it went crazy. It went up. Yeah. <laughs> it went crazy on Facebook. Like, yeah. Like, my whole, well, my, well Sarasota, you know I'm saying? They was going crazy over it. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> it, isn't, it, isn't it a good feeling when your hometown, home city yeah. has your back? Yeah. Like you said, there are going to be some haters every now and again. Yeah. But that's cool. <laughs> we love y'all, too. You ain't got yeah. no haters. You ain't popping. You know what I'm saying? It's great like that. Uh, <laughs> but the thing about it is, is every time you put out new music, it's just a matter of leveling up, getting to that next level. You know what I'm saying? Bringing something new and fresh and different. What is your creative process like? Like, what you mean? So, for example, someone sends you some beats and you shuffle through them. Mm-hmm. How do, From start to beginning, do you come up with the hook first and build around that? Like, how does your music actually come together? As soon as I hit a beat, like, I got to feel the beat. First. Yeah, it's got to speak to you. I start feeling it. Stuff come in my head, and I just go from there. Mostly, I do a chorus first, but it just okay. depends on what the beat is. I might do a verse, then the chorus. Yeah. It no, abs- yeah, it depends. It depends on what yeah. your vibe is like. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the actual recording process. Do you have a creative space in your house where you can record yourself, or are you getting in the studio each and every time? Oh, yeah, I go to the studio. I go to uh, Soda Studios. Okay. Or when, I, when I'm on the road, I record in a hotel, and then yeah. my engineer, Sid, shout out Sid, my engineer, Soda <laughs> Studios. Um, I just record it on my phone. And yeah. I send him the tracks, and he'll just mix it up. Absolutely. It's amazing with the technology that we have now that you can do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, slick these phones. Like, shoot. I've actually done a couple videos on my phone in 4K, and I sent it off to someone who really, really knows how to edit. Mm -hmm. You would not know that video was done on my phone. It's crazy. (laughs) Same thing with recording. Like, you can record it, and if you record it good enough in a a soundproof area, you send it off to your engineer, and they work their magic. You don't never know. Yeah. But that's good. You don't allow you moving around to stop your hustle. You get to it by right. any means necessary. Right, by any means. It's necessary. important to you. Yes. Are you just pouring your everything into your music, or do you also have other business ventures that you're tapping into as well? Uh, just my music right now. Yeah. yeah. Focusing on that. Yeah. Because it's a lot. That, that, I, don't, I don't really got no like other like clothing line <laughs> type skills. Or nothing yeah. Like that, but I know music. I got it. For yeah. Sure. So let's let's talk about that. You know, music is is absolutely your passion. Mm-hmm. What would you say through your music is your purpose? To change people's mood. Yeah. To let them know, like you know, what I'm saying, no matter where you come from, you can make it as long as you keep going. Yeah. But if you don't keep going, how you gonna know? Man. Like, I ain't ashamed where I come from. Like, I'm proud of where I'm at, and yeah. I know where I'm gonna go. So I'm excited about it. Man, that's powerful right there. That's facts. No matter what life throws at us, you cannot stop. If right. anything, use that as motivation to go harder to make sure you don't go through that situation again. Right. Or get stuck there. Cause, right. Yeah, you don't want to die. No. Nah. 
<laughs> That's big facts. So, um, you know, with that being said, uh, have you put a full body of workout, like an EP album or mixtape? Yeah, I got uh, my watch uh, EP out right now. Let's talk about that a little bit. Um, was this your first project that you put out? Uh, yeah, my first EP. Your first yes. EP. Okay. Um, how long was it in the works? Uh, probably like a year. Okay, so you took your time with it. Yes. How many songs are on it? Five. Five songs. Were each of those songs created in particular for that EP, or were any of them that you already had recorded and you kind of grabbed them out the vault? Yeah, one of them I already recorded that I grabbed out the vault, and then the rest of them I had just recorded specifically for that EP. Where were you at mentally when you were working on that EP? I felt like, like in my mind, I was feeling like, have fun, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy life. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Because life is short. Yeah. We slick. The only guarantee we have in life, the only guarantee is that our clock's going to expire at some point in time and we are not going to be here. Right. Other than that, it's a gamble. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you have to enjoy every hour, second, minute, month, year, like it's your last. Because right. we don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing to wake up sure. every day, right? For sure. You know, especially it's a That's blessing it. to wake up on the outside. You ain't behind the walls. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so right, I ain't right. going back there no more. At all. <laughs> um, how is how are people receiving the EP? What type um, of feedback you getting? I got probably about I think I got like seventy thousand streams from it right now. That's big. That's on uh Spotify, like, but it's going up. That's big. <laughs> How does it feel to have poured yourself into this project and to have that many people take their time out their day and their schedule to check out your music? It feels good. Yeah. What do you? What would you? Oh, look over here. What would you want to say to those people right now? I just want to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sing, I appreciate y'all. Sing to them real quick. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you know I was gonna pull that out somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what to sing <laughs> so my music right, right my now, cheek so. hurts right now <laughs> my music right right now so it's like what i'm supposed to sing <laughs> what's your favorite song to sing uh i don't know honestly what were one with growing up when you were singing what did you find yourself singing a lot can't remember nah it's mostly church music so. <laughs> I ain't finna get away and sing the You're like, not today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that is too funny. I, I won't put you on the spot like that. <laughs> Just know that she could sing, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's dope. Um, What about visuals? You got current videos out that people can go check out? Tell them about yes, that. I got Hit Me out right now. I got um, Live and Kicking out right now. I got Stop Playing out right now. I got a lot of visuals out right now. Just go look me up. You'll find a visual. Let's talk about your videos a little bit more in depth. Are you one of those artists that likes to be really hands-on with uh, the treatment, the location, how the yes. lighting is set up? Are you are you really hands-on with that? Mm, yes, I love that. Yeah. I love that because <laughs> when you got be. when you got a dope videographer, right? Uh -huh. As you do, you know what I'm saying. Shout out your videographer. No, I made this. He in the building today. Nah, for real. I was like trying to kidnap him, but he <laughs> said he don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's important because it, it helps him do his job better mm -hmm. when you come to him and say, this is what I'm looking for. Yes. This is what I want. This is the, the aesthetics that I want. This is the type of lighting I want. This is the vision I have. And then he can add to that and bring it to life for you. Right. Man, that's so dope. How many, how many videos you guys shot together? This, this, <laughs> this is the first time he doing a vlog for me. Okay. He kind of actually just started. But he real raw. Listen, so, you ain't got to tell me. Like, yeah. I have I personally know some people that just started, and they're doper than some people has been doing it for years because they got such a creative mind. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? He's nasty with it. <laughs> oh, he's so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> had to do the body roll. You so nasty. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what you guys got going on while you up here in Atlanta? It's chilling. Trying to see some stuff. Yeah. We went to the trap museum, but the line was so long. We was like. Chow. Oh, like. Next time. next time. When did you guys go? This weekend? Yesterday. Last Oh, night. yeah. You got to go during the week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of stuff out here on the weekends, everybody be going. Yeah. Um, Have you guys heard of or been to Little Five Points? Nope. 
Check that out. Uh, Low Five Points is a dope area. A lot of culture out there. And that's where they also have the um, the Outcast mural at. Like a whole huge wall. Be a good place to get some photos, video. Uh, Krog Street Tunnel yeah. is like a tunnel that's full of graffiti. A lot of people get, you know, visuals and stuff out there. So those are just a couple dope spots in Atlanta that people like to tap into when they're not from here. Okay. So we'll, I'll tell you again before you leave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you because I'm going to ask. <laughs> How long are you out here? Um. Just uh, till tomorrow. Oh, till tomorrow. Mm-hmm. What you guys doing tonight? Going to sleep and leaving <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Y'all got to pull up to Magic City or something. You know All what right. I'm saying? All right. Hey, I support the Naked Hustle too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> no, like for real, one thing that I can say about Atlanta and the strip clubs, a lot of people are discovered there. Because really? somebody who's somebody who's somebody who is always in the strip clubs, when I first moved to Atlanta, my first hosting gig was at Magic City, which is one of the most well-known strip clubs out here. Yeah. I hosted there for a whole year. During that time, I met so many people, not just artists, but like business people. Like, you know, because a lot of businessmen just go in there for the pleasure, for the good food and see the beautiful ladies. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, de- and, and a lot of the DJs, that's where they break their records at, too, is in the strip clubs. So, if you guys feel like going out seeing a little booty tonight. Magic City just is might, just super popping. Otherwise, ain't nothing wrong going to bed early because I do that too. You're right? <laughs> Listen, I feel like such an old lady now. Like, if I'm not in bed by, like, 11, <laughs> I ain't lying, lying. Like, I got to be in bed early. You know what I'm saying? So, let's talk about outside of music. I know that music is your passion. You love recording. You love getting your visuals. When you're not doing all that and you have a little bit of personal time, what do you enjoy doing? Oh, my family. Yeah. How important is that to you to, to have that work-life balance? Super important. Yeah. What would you say to your family right now, that the ones that are really supporting you and just loving on you and supporting your dream? What do you want to say to them? I just want to say I love y'all and thank you. Yeah. It's important, you know what I'm saying, to have. It, and it makes what you do so much easier when the people around you are, are supporting what you got going on. Mm-hmm. In a perfect world, which it certainly is not, but if we had a perfect world and we could fast forward to maybe three to five years from now, what are you going to be doing? I'm going to be touring the world. Where would you go first? If you, if you could jump on a plane tomorrow and go anywhere in the world and, and rock the stage there, where would it be? Uh, the UK for sure. Okay. They, the and, hip-hop scene popping. Right. Yeah. They love hip-hop. Yeah. So definitely the UK. Um, since you started doing music, have you had the opportunity outside of Florida to hit stages in other areas? Uh, yeah, in New York. What was that um, experience like for you? Oh, it was lit. Yeah. Like, I couldn't believe New York was supporting me like that. <laughs> it was crazy. That's dope. Anywhere mm-hmm. else? Um, where I was at? I think Washington, D.C. I think. Wherever the White House at. I oh, yeah. Warm there that's hard what was that experience like for you it it was cool it was like i got a little feet back yeah it it wasn't as hot as new york (laughs) i'm sorry so the new york experience do you have footage from that yes is it on your instagram uh it's on my youtube on your youtube that's dope listen if you don't this is where he comes into play if you don't document it it didn't happen yeah especially nowadays yes you You have have to to document because when you reach those higher levels, I'm not going to say if, we're going to say when you do, they're going to want to see that stuff. You know, you got him with you today documenting it. Ten years from now, when you put that documentary together, that's going to be a part of your journey. People want to see that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you're definitely doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's next for you? What's the very next move? I'm actually uh, doing a documentary from... Like when I was younger to when I caught like my case and everything till now. Yeah. Without giving us too much because it's still in the works, tell us a little bit about it. What is what is what can we expect when it's all all the way put together? Well, y'all gonna see me go from the church, yeah, to the trap, you know what I'm saying, to prison, out on the streets and to the industry right now. Yeah. When you went from the church to the trap, <laughs> that's like a complete turnaround. Yeah. With again, I don't never like people to put stuff out there without feeling uncomfortable. Why would you think that that transition came into your life? I feel like probably like the church way, it wasn't like 
I wasn't eating, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like how I want to, like how I want to live. Like, like I still believe in God, but that yeah. church life, it wasn't for me. Understood. I feel you. I'm with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that we have to be in church every Sunday to believe. Right. We do it in our own way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But God already had everything lined up for you. You went through what you went through to get to where you at today. Right. I believe that. Made you a stronger, better person. Yes. Most definitely. Uh, for people, you know, who haven't heard your music yet and they're tuning in for the first time, like, what do you what do you want them to feel inside? Just just to know, like, there's hope. Yeah. You want to snatch their soul? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> soul snatcher. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> that is dope. Have you been collabing with any artists around your area? Uh, yeah. I got a song coming out with Blocker. Okay. And then I got a song coming out with Baby Mexico. Okay. From Orlando. Though. Oh, okay, dope. Yeah, I don't do too many collabs because a lot of people just, they be hating because I'm a female. Yeah. Yeah. And when you do a collab with another artist, especially an independent artist, they got to bring it as much as you do. Right. Not necessarily even just, of course, they got to bring it on the song because you don't want no, you know, half-ass uh, verse on your music. right. right. But they got to be willing to invest and put some money behind it. They got to put a budget up to help you right. shoot a video, mm-hmm. to help you get on some playlists, to maybe help you do stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you're going to collab with someone, it has to make sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Well, listen, before we get up out of here, I appreciate you being here. You sure you don't want to sing for me? <laughs> I'm going to nah. give you one more shot. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Not today. Um, you know, what do you want to leave everybody with? Stay true to yourself. Stay transparent. Yeah, absolutely. Just let's touch on that for just a second. With you being 100% yourself, you know, how would you say that is helping you within within music? It's helping me, like, express myself without caring about what nobody think about me. None yeah. Of that. Big facts. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Self-love. Yeah. You have to love yourself first before anybody else can. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I'm a fan. (laughs) I I really, I just love, you know, that you just stand for who you are and you're putting good music out and you're pouring yourself into your music. Keep doing that because that's when you're going to build your most organic fan base is when you're giving people 100% yourself. People know when it's cap and when it's not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. (laughs) Um, What was the most recent visual that's out that you can direct people to go check out? Uh, Go check out Live and Kicking. What's the YouTube channel? So just type in Big KC Official, B I G G KC, my initials, and officials, you'll find me. So KC is your initials for the government. You ain't got to <laughs> yeah. tell them the government name. But that's... I say it in every song, though. Oh, do you? Yeah, what is like, it? Kiera Charles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Represent. I, I love yeah. that you kept it true to who you are. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely kept it true to who you are. Um, all the social platforms you're on, where can they follow you at? Instagram, Twitter, I ain't on Facebook. Too much drama on there. Uh, <laughs> everywhere I'm on, I'm on every platform except Facebook. And everything is under Big KC. Yeah, Big KC official, big with two G's. Definitely. Um, who do you want to just shout out to? Anybody in particular you just want to show some love to? Yeah, I want to uh, shout out Soda Black, Eight Hundred Two Versace, uh, Soda Studios. Definitely. Uh, Noah made this. And uh, my engineer, Sid, I want to shout out my management, Sub Nation Entertainment. Yeah. Dope. That's what's up. Well, last but not least, and this is the most important question of the whole conversation, we live on the industry's most wanted podcast, right? Industries most wanted. We got Florida in the building. Big KC on the check-in. Brought all that good energy, all them positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? Right now, though, I need you to go ahead and let the whole world know what makes you the industry's most wanted. On what y'all been missing. Straight. Transparency. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Yeah. And I'm going to give it to you. Bam. Big KC style. <laughs> that sounds like a barbecue. That could be like a barbecue sauce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like big KC style. I'm going to scream. All right. Don't, when I come out with it, I'm going to give you your uh, cut. Hey, I'm going to be the first one in cut. line to buy it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a find what else you love to do and figure out a way to incorporate it in what you got going on right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like what you know, like for example, if you loved 
a particular brand or something, figure out how you can incorporate it in what you got going on. Shoot, if you supporting them, make them support you as well. True. You know, that's what it's all okay. about. Shoot, we trying to get to the bag, right? Yeah. Big up. facts. Yeah. Give me some love one more time. <laughs> Boom. Appreciate you being here. We Thank up you. out of here, y'all.